Hey guys, welcome back to Danielle's Crochet Barn. Today I'm going to be sharing with y'all 16 last minute crochet Christmas ideas. So I have them split up. I have 8 free patterns and I have 8 paid patterns for y'all. So before I get started into the video, um, I'm pretty sure I already have one video, maybe two videos, already out stating what I'm about to state. But I'm testing out a camera. Um, I do not have an external mic for it, so the, the quality of the audio is not going to be that great. Don't know about the quality of the camera, which is what I'm testing. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started into the video now. So I have my laptop here with me, so if you see like light on my glasses, I apologize. Also, I will be looking down, so I apologize for that. But the very first category we're going to look at are the free items. So I will put a picture somewhere up here on the screen showing each item when I talk about it. But the very first item that I have are bows. And I thought these would be perfect to put on like a beanie if you wanted to add something to a plain beanie. Or you could use it on a wrapped gift or a gift bag if you glue it on there. Just something added. Um, it's pretty simple looking. It doesn't look too hard. So most of these I did try to find this, like uh, beginner friendly crochet patterns and ones that uh, work up quick. But I can't promise all of them do because I haven't made these. I've only made a few of them. But yeah, those are the first thing. The second thing that I have here are beanies. Um, there's an array of beanies that you can make. Uh, there's intermediate patterns, there's beginner patterns, there's all kinds of patterns on beanies. I myself do not make beanies. My mom is the person that likes those. Um, but the one that I have here linked, it does look like a beginner friendly one. And you can make them in any different colors. You could do multiple colors. I mean, beanies are just endless possibilities, but there's the second item. So the next item that I have is the Grinch. I myself have made it, and it is right here. I have made five of them. And it is pretty easy to understand and make. It only takes, I think it took me an hour and two minutes when I timed it. So it's not that bad. But yeah, there it is. The next item I have is this gingerbread man ornament. Um, very cute, and I think it would be also great to put in your car as a rear view mirror decoration. Um, so that's something that would be very quick to work up because you don't have to stuff it. So the next thing that I have are these washcloths. These are more of a Christmas design, but like beanies, washcloths, there are endless possibilities. I myself don't really make washcloths. I've made, I think, 10, about 10 washcloths. My mom, she loves making them. She's honestly probably made over 50. But, um, yeah, uh, you can find other... Um, designs. You could also do a plain design. You could do just one color kind of washcloths. And there's many stitches that you could use for washcloths. But uh, And there's also many free patterns. But this one right here is more of a Christmas design if y'all want that. So the next thing that I have are these finger puppets. These are absolutely adorable. And I have not seen many finger puppet crocheted items. These are more of a Christmas design. But if you have a little kid, um, I think these would be great for a little kid to play with. And also, these would be great to take out with you if you went into public and you wanted your kid to stay entertained for a minute. You could just pop those on their finger and they can sit there and play away with those. Oh, also for those finger puppets, you don't need stuffing for that. So if you just have yarn and you don't have stuffing but you want to make something a little bit different, there's just something you could do. So the next item I have here that is also free are these little gnomes. Um, with gnomes, you could obviously make these any colors you want. These are obviously more Christmassy. But uh, I think these would be great for people who love decorations. They like to put them up on their fireplace mantle or a bookshelf or a dresser. So these right here look pretty good to me. And then the last free item I have are these pencil toppers. Um, this specific one is the Rudolph pencil topper. I have never seen any crocheted pencil toppers. So I thought these were pretty neat and they would not take long at all. So the next items we'll go over are the paid patterns. So the first one that I have is this mini plush Christmas tree. This one I found off of Ribbler and it looks so easy and it probably wouldn't take any time at all to make. Um, it does have a little face on it but of course you don't have to do the face and it has a little star on the top of it and it does have like a trunk on the bottom of it. But yeah, this one looks very easy to do. So the next one I also found off of Ribbler. It is like a Christmas Pooh Bear gingerbread man. Rudolph and a little polar bear. Um, I myself might have to buy this pattern because it is very cute. These look pretty simple. It honestly looks like there's not much sewing involved, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, there's you a paid pattern. 
So the next thing that I have is this pot holder. This one's a little bit different from the rest of them. But you might have somebody that you love that likes to cook. So I thought this would be cute. Obviously you want to make sure you use the correct top yarn if you're making a pot holder. I myself don't make things that need um, yarn that's like great for hot items. But I'm pretty sure it's cotton yarn you use. I may be wrong so do your research. But I know for a fact it is not acrylic which is what I mostly use. So do not use acrylic if you're making something that will have something hot sitting on top of it. But this one looks pretty simple to me. Um, it's flat and it looks like just continuous rows basically. You have a circle and then like the arms are little rectangles kind of. It does look like there's some increases in there but uh, for the most part it looks pretty simple. The next paint pattern that I have is this nativity scene. Um, my mom loves nativity scenes so I thought this would be great as a gift for someone who likes those like your mom or aunt, sister, um, may even be a dude that likes nativity scenes. But uh, yeah, these look pretty simple. I think it has Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. And it looks like they are about five or six inches tall. Joseph, anyways. Um, yeah, it says on the side here. Mary is three and a half inches tall. Joseph is five inches tall. And Jesus is two inches tall. But uh, I thought this was adorable. And I think there might be a little bit of sewing, but not too much. But there's that. So then the next paid pattern that I have is this two-in-one crochet pattern. So it is two snowmen. One has like a top hat and the other one has like a Santa hat. And this is actually a no-sew pattern. So that would be fairly easy to whip up. So the next paid pattern I have is this no-sew chunky reindeer. I myself may have to break down and buy this pattern and get me some chunky yarn because this is adorable. But um, it's no-sew once again. So I mean, what else do I have to say about that? The next paid pattern is a gingerbread man. Um, this one is fairly small looking. It is made out of chunky yarn so if you made it out of like acrylic it would turn out way smaller I would say but it looks to be fairly simple um, but yeah there it is. So the last paid pattern I have are these Christmas lights. Um, I absolutely love the colors they use. They're very bright and cheerful but I think this would be great as decoration during the Christmas time as well but uh, that is it. So I went over eight free and eight paid patterns and I think that's about it I can say in this video. So I'm going to stop here. Don't think I have any updates for y'all. So I guess the only thing I can mention is my plushie drop. By the time this video is out, that will already be released. And hopefully it's sold out. If not, I beg of y'all to please go check out my Etsy and my Depop and buy something. Please. I mean, you don't have to. But uh, you see that this is piling up. And I have other things that are piling up too. And I also want to go ahead and get a head start to the other holidays, like Valentine's Day. I guess I, I guess people consider that a holiday. And like Easter and stuff, I need to go ahead and take care of that stuff. That way I do not get behind. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. So I will see y'all next time and I hope that y'all had or have a great day. Bye everybody.